In this video, we're going to go over some of the advantages of merging a DENS model into the voxel room as opposed to using a reference mesh. So those are the two main ways that you would typically import a very dense or high polygon model that you may have worked on in another application. For example, if you had sculpted it somewhere and wanted to use the retopology tools inside 3D Cope, these are the options that you have at your disposal. So let's look at reference mesh first. We'll go to the file menu from the paint room here. And we'll go down to import reference mesh. And I have a dense model here to import. Okay, so there we have it. This essentially exists here in the paint room and also the tweak room. Now the only edits that we can make to this model at all is right here in the tweak room. And this is where you would modify a little polygon geometry if you are trying to texture paint it and whatnot, you can do a little bit of basic sculpting and transform edits to the mesh. But if you want higher end tools, then that's when you would want to sculpt in the voxel sculpting room. Okay, so again, if, for example, this model came in turned upside down or uh, on a different axis than what uh, you had in your host application, you can choose Select Move. In the Tool Options panel here, you have a range of different options available. So you can select with pen or rectangle, and I would highly recommend using this if you have an object that has multiple secondary objects. Okay, it's much faster working this way in selecting them, rather than using select objects and having to select one by one. Okay, you have select with gradient and so on. Let's just go ahead and use select objects here. Okay. And so now, if I need to move it or rotate and scale, I can do it that way. And because it's a dense object, it may take a bit. And this room does not handle high poly counts nearly as well as in the voxel sculpting room. So again, here, we would just want to make basic edits. So I can clear the selection. And let's go back to the paint room. And let me just try and demonstrate that you cannot do anything to this model outside the tweak room. It's just a kind of a no frills option of importing the model in. And most times you probably don't want to do any editing, you know, especially painting and things like that. But if you wanted to, you have the capability of doing so if you merge the model into the voxel room. Okay, so no capabilities beyond that. What you see is what you get. So if we wanted to retopologize that, this is uh, where we would want to try and do this. Hit the enter key. Okay, and you see how that works. Okay, so let me go ahead and just start a new scene. The better option is to merge into the voxel room. So let's choose voxel sculpting. We'll just import that same high res object. And then the tool options panel here, we're giving the option to either voxelize it or bring it in as a surface mode object. Now surface mode simply means that it's working with just geometry there is no volumetric volume internally at all. Even though you can switch back and forth interchangeably rather easily, again, surface mode is probably the way you want to go. So let's choose Merge without voxelizing, and all I have to do is hit Apply. It's asking, do I want to remember this initial scale, just in case I scale it up later on uh, while I'm working. I'll hit Yes, and that's it. Let's zoom in. I'm going to apply a different shader. The default is way too bright. So I'm going to right click on the shader. I want to just choose apply it to visible. 
or I could just click on it. Okay. So yeah, if I zoom in and hit the W key to toggle wireframe, you can see it comes in non-voxelized. It comes in exactly like it was in your host application. So yeah, this is the way to go and the reason for that is once more you've got the full range of the voxel tools available if you want to make some edits while you're here. So as you can see I can change shaders and everything so I have so many more options available to me and all the same capability. Again, it's the same mesh. I don't lose anything at all by bringing it into the voxel room. Okay. So I hope that helps and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.